Okay, well, here's a little something different. I've been messing around with ghost tricks. Or, if you can tell by my hand, more <laughs> what I prefer to call them troll tricks. Uh, my current build, I did take out Obelisk because he's not as good as I would like. Um, but yeah, that's basically the premise of my deck is basically um, ground collapse and, uh, yeah, let me show you this Blue Eyes Ultimate, Chaos Phantom. Dark Paladin just because. Um, yeah, the deck sort of revolves around um, Succubus, even though I don't really use her. Um, I find Ground Collapse is a lot more hilarious because it just locks my opponent's field. Um, my opponent, uh, he's playing... In a, yeah, there we go. He's playing an Exodia deck. Um, against any other deck... Well, actually, I've been having fun messing around with Ghost Tricks. Ghost Tricks can handle themselves. Um, they're very annoying. Um, but yeah, against an, any other deck, this would have sucked. Or, like, you wouldn't get the full effect of what my troll trick deck can do. So I'm just gonna set sign because I got nothing. Uh, he's gonna set his reckless screeds. So I open up with double ground claps, but I'm gonna... So he's gonna go battle fader. At this point, I'm like, okay, so... But since I have the double ground collapse. I'm just going to lock out his entire field, and he can only play one, car one card over his battle fader. Um, draw into the witch. So I'm going to... So yeah, because he's locked out of his field, he can only... Yeah, or he can't start stacking up the battle faders to create a wall. Which for me was pretty good, actually. Um, I set the Ghost Trick Knight as a bluff. Uh, I have Spectre in hand, but... I just said it because I need more stuff. Um, yeah, he, he opened up pretty lucky with the three battle faders. Um, because of duality, I knew he was playing an Exodia deck. But I was still just like, okay, you know what? I, I'm not just going to quit. I'm just going to play right through this, see what happens. Oh, that's a Destiny draw. So, yeah, I'm going to see the Destiny draw, Playhouse. Summon obelisks just because I can. Um, he, he plays one day of peace. Goes card car. Um, I drew into doll, which is actually quite fun to mess around with if you know how to do it properly. Yeah, I threw an obelisk in here just because you can easily load up your board with ghost tricks, so sacking for obelisk isn't that bad. Um, I know there are some builds that play, um, or some ghost trick builds that use treeborn frog. I personally don't like it because treeborn frog, you can't have any back row. And I play, I, I like the ghost trick support, so. So I have a witch on board, so I can just flip his card face down. And just keep attacking over it. Oh, so I go into Succubus. So, me being a knobhead and not being able to read, I thought Succubus had to destroy the card by battle um, to get her effect. But no, she's literally attacks. So, yeah, he's going to go desperate. I, so, after I read the effect, I destroyed it. And now he can't play anything. And I just attack with Obelisk for game. Um, oh. Get the replay is going to go anyway. Uh, he was pretty close. He did have the one other Destiny draw if he would have survived another turn. Um, I don't know if he would have drawn into anything good because I know his last Exodia piece was like the third card from the bottom. So he would have drawn for turn, done Destiny draw, and he might have gotten it. I don't remember. But yeah, like... Obelisk is a fun win condition. <laughs> um, again, not 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 the best win condition. Like I've found, um, if I can't keep my board alive, um, Obelisk is just dead in hand because I can't really like I don't have trade in or anything to swap them out for. I'm also messing around with the Ghost Trick Parade, um, just because if I get this first turn, I can set it. My opponent will attack me, and I can add um, Jack Frost or anything else to hand. Or I can add, uh, or I can search out the house with this actually. And it's funny because my opponents know I get my searches if they attack me, so they won't attack me. Um, 
I also normally play this if I have a terraforming in hand, so um, if they if my opponent will does attack me, um, I'll get my search and then terraforming, replace it with the house. Um, but yeah, Ghost Trick Knight is way too good. Like, as long as I can keep a Ghost Trick face up on the field and set all of my opponent's cards, like basically this deck just revolves around clogging my opponent's field and making it so that way they can't play anything. Um, I'll have another video up in a bit showing this off against a Ragna Zero deck. Um, if you don't know what that deck does, I'll put a link in that video. Um, but basically, yeah, I'll I'll save the explanation for that video. Um, but yeah, messing around with Ghost Tricks. Um, again, not the best Ghost Trick deck build. I actually have two. One with the cards I actually have, and then... Um, the one just for fun, which is this one. But yeah, I'll show them off individually, I don't know. I'm still working around with the build, because I don't know Ghost Tricks as well as I did Plants. And even Plants, I wasn't that good of a plant player, but... Um, but yeah, since I'm getting rid of the plant deck, I do need to start looking to other decks to play. And Ghost Tricks just happen to be cheap. <laughs> um, though I would love to play Flower Princesses. That... Like, that's a... It's still plants, and I feel it's more consistent than Sylvan's. Though Graceful Charity, like, for Sylvan's, Sylvan Charity, that card, if only it wasn't, like, $30, or whatever it is. Like, all the new Sylvan stuff is way too expensive. Like, I went to this, um, the sneak peek, and, like, people were pulling Sylvan stuff. I didn't get anything, but that stuff's expensive. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Till next time.